It's been less than three months since Muhammad Nazadi's daughter, Rehana, died. She was 16 and an identical triplet with her sisters in yellow. Rehana wanted to be a doctor, but she was killed in an attack at her school in May. I was the first one to get to the bombing. It was really horrible. It's always on my mind. When I got there, it was chaos. There were screams, cries and mourning. There were fathers picking up their daughters, brothers picking up their sisters. The attack on Sayyid al-Shuhada High School was cited as the worst incident in a new UN report, tallying civilian casualties in the first six months of this year. No group has claimed responsibility for it, but Rehana's sister has a message for her killers. Uh, don't uh, kill your brothers, your sisters, because uh, you're also from this country. The bombing here in May killed 85 mostly young school girls and injured about 150. They are among 783 civilians killed in Afghanistan in just May and June. It is the highest number for those months since the UN started keeping records 12 years ago. The UN also says a record number of women and children were killed or injured in Afghanistan in the first six months of this year. In Dashtibachi, the victims' names have been painted in murals on the school's perimeter where they died. They killed the students, those who are trying to learn knowledge, they killed them. But uh, uh, my message uh, in this part is this, that we students that just have one pen in our hand and no gun, no other uh, things uh, in our hand to fight with them. I asked her in the end, do you think the pen will be stronger than the gun? Of course, of course. I believe in this. The UN says Afghanistan is on course to witness its highest number of civilian casualties in a single year. We need the parties to step back and away um, from the battlefield because otherwise we do think, based on uh, the data that and the figures and the record levels that we've seen of the first six months of this year, um, that these will just uh, keep increasing. The Nazari family empathize with the thousands of Afghans who have also buried a loved one this year, but they cannot empathize with the perpetrators. No, I cannot forgive them. My wife cannot. Rehana's sisters cannot forgive. It's something unforgivable. He says after Rehana's death and his security worsens, the family is looking to leave Afghanistan. The UN is also worried, saying if fighting moves from rural areas into cities, the result could be catastrophic.